Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a new video of Film Sprinter. In today's video, we are listing down the biggest feud of RuPaul's Drag Race. But before we jump into our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 6. Sharon Needles vs. P.P. O'Hara like many of the conflicts in RuPaul's Drag Race, this one mainly due to clashing drag styles. PP belonged to the glamorous school of drag, which prioritized the illusions of traditional femininity, while Sharon embraced creepy drag, wanting to break the norms of gender and beauty. Comparing Sharon's style to the budget style of Party City, PP was unable to adopt the unique aesthetic that Sharon established as her trademark. PP was not the kindest queen, battling with her partner William Bally also in season 4 and later with Alyssa Edward in All Star 2. The two queens made it to the last three of their seasons, with Sharon Needles finally beating his rifle for the crown. Number 5. Shangela vs Mimi Imfers One of the best scenes ever out of RuPaul's Drag Race is the conversations between fan favorite Shangela and Mimi Imfers, which ended up in flinging drinks. The two felt at odds over his drag aesthetic, with Shangela being charming and Mimi tending to the pitch. When Mimi was defending her choice to Cam, Shangela questions Mimi's ability to charm successfully. Mimi admitted that Shangela was capable of glamour because she had a daddy to finance him. Shangela delivered her iconic sugar daddy speech, pulling Mimi in hell. Since then, Mimi hasn't redeemed herself, resulting in a memorable showdown in All Star 1 that made all of the queens wonder why she was competing in the first place. Number 4. V Oddly vs Silky Nutmeg Ganache It is safe to say that V and Silky were never close during their run in Season 11. Spreading insults at each other was a fairly common occurrence for them. The most painful blows were directed at their lack of talent. Silky accused V of being limited to a creepy transfer site, while V called Silky a contest queen. In just one of her many memorable untucked storylines, V made it known that she didn't find Silky a threat to herself or anyone else in the competitions. Similarly, Silky wondered what the judges saw in V and wished she would leave the competitions once she was pointed to the last place in the Snatch Game Challenge. While the two reconciled somewhat at the end of the seasons, there was definitely no love lost between the two during the show. Number 3. Eureka O'Hara vs The Fixin The agreement between these two's conflicting personalities led to an untucked screaming match. From the start, it was pretty clear that The Fixin wasn't a fan of Eureka based on the Southern Drag Queen's appearance in Season 9. Some viewers even found her hateful and overbearing. La Folk shared these feelings and felt that Eureka was upset and selfish. As a result, the couple got off on the wrong foot and never appeared to connect or relate to each other. It didn't look like Eureka intentionally pushed buttons on the fixins to make her lose her temper, which she has done multiple times throughout the season. This problem repeated itself when all of the queens reunited at the end of the competitions, and as a result, the fixin left the stage due to her perceptions that Eureka was more supported by RuPaul in contrast to her. Number 2. Alyssa Edwards vs Coco Montrez Unlike most of RuPaul's drag races, this feud started before the two queens competed on a show. When Alyssa Edwards lost her Miss Gay America title, the runner-up Coco Montrez received the crown and title. After feeling betrayed by knowing that her friend Coco would accept her positions, Alyssa was distraught and shared her displeasure with the rest of the contestants on the show. This drama died out in the final stages of Drag Race 5th season, where both queens faced off in a Lip for Your Life challenge that saw Coco emerged victorious. The two queens ended their feud before they both appeared in the second seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star. Number 1. RuPaul vs Pearl This fight between Pearl and, Pearl and RuPaul managed to be tense and fun at the same moment. When RuPaul accused Pearl for not having a unique personality, Pearl complained that she simply didn't understand Paul. Ru stared at Pearl for a crazy time without saying anything. This prompted Pearl to fight back with the famous line where she claimed that, is there something on her face? This became one of the best quotes on RuPaul's Drag Race. Pearl later revealed that this tense encounter was due to a dismissive attitude that RuPaul displayed to the contestants and to Pearl, especially after the Queens of New York addressed RuPaul with heartfelt words of appreciation that had been ignored by the legendary drag queen. Alright, that's it for today. We will see you in our next video. Thank you for watching.